In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be breaking down a great way to beat both Cover 2 and the Cover 3 uh, deep half or Cover 3 invert in Madden NFL 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's YouTube video. Now if you're brand new to the channel, if you've never watched any of my videos before, what I do here is I do Madden 21 tips and tricks every single day on my YouTube channel. I post four videos every day on YouTube that are designed to just give you some food for thought, some tips, some tactics, some tools um, that you can add to your repertoire uh, enabled, and it will allow you to be more effective as a Madden player and ultimately win more games. So if you're interested in that, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen and I would also encourage you to join my community discord that link is in the description um, it's a great place to be able to connect with other Madden players set up lab games money games and just kind of talk Madden 24 7 even if you're not on the game uh, it's also a great way just to be thinking talking Madden 24 7 so if you haven't joined the discord yet be sure to do that in the in the uh, description all right, guys, now the play I'm going to show you is a play that is going to be coming out um, in my New England Patriots offensive ebook. Now, my New England Patriots offensive ebook is going to be released uh, very, very soon. We'll keep you updated here on the channel. My goal is to have it released uh, this evening, but it might be uh, might be Friday at the latest, but uh, should be out this week. So, anyways, uh, I want to break down this play out of why off trips pats. Now, this is a very popular formation, especially if you watch the MCS, you know that D Croft uses this formation a ton. And this was a play that he ran last year that I thought was really effective. I don't know if he ran this exact setup; he probably did, but it's a very very effective setup. And the play is halfback. Uh, sluggo now this is a cover two beater uh, that is really 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 effective and I want to show it to you against a couple different defenses but the primary defense we're going to be showing this to you against is obviously the cover two and we're also going to show you this against the uh, cover three invert which is a very popular coverage that people like to run as well so we're going to come out and cover two and again this play is called halfback sluggo now you could run up to um, basically what you want to do is you want your trips on the short side of the field whenever you run this play so you want the you want the route to be able to be going from uh, to the left side of the field on the wide side so ideally um, you would like to have your trips on the right hash mark when you're running this if you're on the left hash mark you can just flip this but if you're facing cover two it's a really great way to beat it all you're going to do is you're going to take your back out of the backfield here and you're just going to put him on a shoot flat route just a simple flat route like this um, again, most of you guys probably have backfield master if you're in mutt. If you don't have backfield master, you can just put him on a wheel. It's not a big deal. Okay. The second thing you're going to do is take Scotty Miller here, this left side slot. And if you have slot apprentice on him, you could put him on a post route. Now, if you don't have a slot apprentice, it's very highly recommended to have a slot apprentice when running this offense. But if you don't have a slot apprentice, you can just put him on a streak route. But I like to put him on the post route to have a nice man to man beater uh, right over the middle of the field. This is going to do a really good job of holding your opponent in the middle of the field. The next thing that I like to do on this is take my tight end and either put him on a drag or an out route, depending on what you want to do. Uh, I actually really, really like the drag route. If you're going to put the tight end on a drag route, then what you might want to consider doing with your running back is taking your running back and maybe putting him on a wheel route or putting him on a block and release uh, pattern so that that way you can have a little bit of extra protection and you're still going to be able to threaten the flats on both sides. But what I'm going to do for this video is I'm going to put my tight end on an out route. From there, Mike Evans, you can leave him on this little curl route. It's actually a very nice little curl route. You can re hot route him and put him on another curl uh, and have a curl flat concept on the right side of the screen. Or you could put him on uh, a streak or a fade route. That's up to you. And all you're going to do here is you're going to motion Chris Godwin to the left, and you're going to snap right before he sets, like right before he stops moving. That's when you're going to snap the ball. So you want to wait to get him out here to the numbers and snap the ball. And what you're going to see here is once he gets past that cover two hard flat, you are just going to throw a outside pass lead bullet pass, and he's going to absolutely torch the cover two defense. Now, part of the reason that I really like this is this play also is going to do a good job if they maybe aren't in cover two. So maybe they're in like cover two man. Maybe they're showing you cover two zone, but in reality, they're in cover two man. 
Well, if they're in cover two man, what you're going to notice here is if they are not shading the coverage over top, Chris Godwin is actually going to get over the top of his route as well right here. So you'll notice right here, if they come underneath him just like this, this is just a hard left outside pass lead and a swerve catch. If you can get that outside pass lead, you'll be able to swerve catch that against the man-to-man, -man, especially if they're press coveraging. If they're not press coveraging or if maybe they're shading their coverage over top, then you're not going to have as much success. This obviously works a little bit better if you have that slot receiver on a streak as opposed to the post route. Because that deep half will have to respect the streak of the seam. But what you'll notice here is, again, it's just like a little outside little fade route. Hard left pass lead. You've got to click on and swerve catch that. But you can get that animation uh, pretty consistently against man-to-man -man coverage. Now, let's say that they're shading coverage. Um, they call man coverage, but maybe they're shading coverage over top. And maybe they're even taking their outside guys and they're putting them in the purple zones, right? Very common man-to-man -man coverage. If you have a receiver with over 90 deep route running, he actually will stand a fairly decent shot at actually getting over that coverage if he has over 90 deep route running and he has pretty good speed. Um, but if he doesn't, if he doesn't have that, obviously you're going to be able to hit your post route right over the middle of the field against man-to-man -man coverage. You're also going to be able to hit your running back, and you're going to be able to hit your tight end. The next thing I want to show you with this play is how good of a job it does, especially against cover three invert. A lot of people like to run cover three, but they like to run cover three invert because if they run cover three invert, what's going to happen is they're not going to get bombed deep a lot of the time. So we're going to run that same route combination that I was talking about. And what you're going to notice on this right here is Godwin, when he gets to the sideline, if you just wait on him just a little bit, that deep half is going to go to the middle of the field. And I can hard left pass lead that fairly consistently. Let me, let me show you that one more time here. But again, what they're doing, this is a very popular concept. You'll see something like this a lot. You'll see a double flat, right, something like this. Their safety is going to be over the middle of the field, and they got deep halves on their outside corners to try to prevent anything deep. What I like about this and the opportunity that this provides the offense is if you can attack the deep sideline on the outside on the right, just like in cover two, um, the same thing, same rule applies to cover three invert, uh, if you will. And what you're going to notice here, when you get to the sideline, I can basically hard left pass lead that, and you see that he... If you rat catch it the right way, he'll actually get a one-play touchdown against the cover three invert. So let me show you that one more time here. And again, this is all predicated on, um, and let me just run some cloud flats, just change up the zones a little bit on, my, on me. But what you'll notice is this is all predicated on them running those outside corners on the deep half zones. The corners have to be on deep half zones. If they're not on deep half zones, um, it's not going to be as clean here. What you'll notice is right there, hard left pass lead, click on. You're going to get that animation right there, and you see you could run this for a one-play touchdown against the cover three invert. Cover three invert's a very popular coverage in this year's game, so being able to beat this is actually really critical. Now, if you guys have not already joined uh, my text message membership, I would highly, highly recommend you do that. My text message membership includes weekly tips and tricks videos, very long form, kind of full scheme-ish, right? We break down full schemes out of playbooks every single week, full defenses, full offenses, all of that stuff. So if you're really interested in some of those high-level tips, I would highly encourage you um, to go ahead and shoot me a text message. It's completely free to join the text message membership. All you have to do is text me. My number is 812-216. 3644. And what's cool about the text message membership is you also um, are notified as soon as we release any new products. And we are currently working on finalizing the New England Patriots comprehensive ebook, which is the most comprehensive ebook on the New England Patriots offense. Um, that I believe has ever been written. It's already over 200 pages long um, with over 10 hours of video material. So if you want to be um, notified as soon as that playbook drops, I'd highly encourage you to join the text message membership. If you have Madden questions that you need answered, just text me. That's the best way to get a hold of me. And also, if you just want the free tips, we have gun. We have a whole guide on the gun bunch for our text message members. We have a guide on the big nickel over G for our text message members, and on and on and on. So some really, really good, high-quality material. One of the guys that uh, picked up the membership said this is better than even some of the paid material that he's been able to pick up in the, in the last year. Here you'll notice, like, if they run cover three, that's just stock cover three. You see that that happens. Now, this is where I actually really like, like, if you have a tight end apprentice, I actually really like this route combination right here. If you have a tight end apprentice, you can put your tight end on a 
post route, right? Simple post route. Very simple, nothing too crazy. Um, and then on the back side, you could even leave Evans on his route. You could even put him on a drag route, honestly. It doesn't really matter. But what you'll notice against cover three is if you put that streak to Scotty Miller, now what's going to happen is this is going to really be a stretch for your opponent. You'll notice that that cover three zone on the snap is going to come uh, right over there on that um, is, is basically he's he's going to the, the, the cover three zone. Whenever I snap the ball, that deep blue, um, that deep blue from the corner is going to come down on that streak. So what that's going to allow you the opportunity to do here is if you run this route combination, what you'll notice is you should have a little bit of a window right up the seam here to hit Scotty Miller deep. Hard left pass lead, click on, swerve, catch it, and you're beating now the cover three. Now, this route combination will allow you, especially if you want to continue to attack cover two and cover three clouds, uh, or not, not cover three cloud, cover three invert, I apologize. If you still want to attack that coverage, this this route combination right here is actually very effective for that because that streak route to Scotty Miller on this play right here is going to pull that deep um, that deep half zone even more than it would already be pulled, and it's going to afford you even better of a window. Right here, hard left pass lead, click on, swerve catch, and you're going to be off to the races. So some things that you can mix in with that as well that are really going to be effective. But overall, guys, the U-Trips formation, I believe, is one of the best formations um, in Madden 21. There's so many things that you can do with it. There's so many uh, reasons as to why it's such a powerful formation. It's got great post routes, great crossing routes. And the bottom line is this is a route combination. You know, even something like as simple as this right here. You motion Mike Evans over on a slant. You run two slants, maybe a flat to your tight end, just something simple. Um, I'll tell you what, it's actually pretty tough to stop. So you trips, why off trips, one of the best offenses, offenses in the game. We break down the whole entire formation. Uh, I think we have over three hours of video breakdown on the U trips or Y trips in our New England Patriots ebook. So if you want to get access to that ebook, shoot me a text, let me know, and I can shoot you the link as soon as that ebook is live. If you want to get access to some of our free uh, guides for our text message members, go ahead and shoot me a text as well. My number is 812. 216-3644. We'll be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Our next videos will go live at 6 o'clock and at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time right here on our YouTube channel because we upload four videos a day, one at 2, one at 4, one at 6, one at 8, and then we go live every night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So thank you guys so much for your time, and if you have any questions, just shoot me a text. See you later.